Welcome back to my channel for the latest SH Figure Arts review for the Marvel Cinematic Universe line. As you can see, I have the Spider-Man integrated suit from the latest MCU movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. And in this review, it will be spoiler free, so be sure to not put any of those in the comments down below. So the integrated suit is obviously the most anticipated suit of them all. It is the classic colours with a bit of upgrade. It's something that the MCU like to do with their Spider-Mans is to change up the suits and we kind of know this will be the main suit in the movie since the other release this month is the upgraded suit from the Far From Home film and the other one being the black and gold suit. So I will also look to do the review of this version as well so stay tuned to my channel and I know that this is uh, particularly exciting for me since I didn't pick up the Far From Home edition. So the main focus today will be the integrated suit and we're first going to take a look at the packaging as I normally do and for a Spider-Man figure in the SH Figure Arts this is actually one of the smaller size box normally it is a bit bigger because there's a lot more accessories and you can kind of tell that it was going to be like a standard box since the price of this figure was very good it was actually under 30 US dollars which is actually very cheap for an SH Figure Arts and looking at the box, I actually do really like it. Uh, you have one shot of Spider-Man, the digital print. And you can see at the back is the full Spider logo. And it kind of matches with his actual suit. And then you have the usual stickers, logos. And then it wraps all the way around, more titles and pictures. And then more titles and pictures on the other side with a logo of Spider-Man. And then on the back, we have the figure in different poses. They've included a yellow background this time and then we have the usual instruction manuals to show you how to put on the accessories. And here is the full figure inside its packaging. So here is the Spider-Man figure out of its packaging. My first impressions in terms of the sculpt, the look, the mould, very similar to some of the previous SA Figure Art Spider-Man figures, which makes sense, it is understandable since it is the same Spider-Man Peter Parker we're talking about. The only difference is, is, of course, this time he has a new costume, the new design, which has really grown on me. Especially after I watched the film, I appreciate this suit a lot more. And it might even be one of the best MCU Spider-Man suits out of all of them. And looking at it, I really like the gold designs, especially in around the center, and as well as the back. It makes the figure stand out a lot more on this dark kind of navy finish. And overall, I like the feel of this Spider-Man using the matte design. And everything about it is really good. So in terms of the comparison with the Iron Spider, which also featured in the movie, uh, at first when Bandai did the promo photos, I thought these two were very similar. Uh, but now that I have them side by side, you can tell that the Iron Spider in-game version is a lot more shiny and slicker. And obviously there's a lot more blue around the logo and then there's also red at the back as well and then for this one it's a matte finish and a lot more gold the only thing is this looks very similar to the infinity war iron spider which was not accurate as that had a matte finish and they had to upgrade it in the end game edition but for the integrated no way home suit this does actually make sense to use this type of paint and overall I really like the look of this and the only thing is I believe the hand guards were not used in the film I'm gonna have to double check on that so that's the only thing they didn't probably get right it's probably because Bandai only based it on trailers promo photos uh, they weren't exactly sure how the final product would look so now we can take a look at the accessories starting off with the alternate hands so we have the open palms which of course is the wall crawling hands for Spider-Man and this can be used for many different types of poses depending on the way you articulate it and it's very important for a Spider-Man figure to obviously have this alternate hand and you can use it for other poses as well like a running one and even if he's looking a bit surprised which Spider-Man does like to do a lot so yeah it's a really good alternate hands to have and probably one of the most important ones. 
The next set of alternate hands is the web shooter versions and this is pretty much standard in most Spider-Man figures nowadays and especially for the SA figure arts you can see it's pretty similar to what we're familiar with and it would look a lot better in the right posing and of course when I add on the webs. And the third and final set of alternate hands is the thumbs up which again we have seen previously in the SH figure arts and technically you can use it for this pose only but it's actually used for when he's swinging and holding onto the webs. So two webs are included and some of the previous Spider-Man SH figure arts we have seen some extra long or short webs but for this one they've kept them both exactly the same size. And here are the webs paired up with the web shooter hands. And I've also placed the webs with the other alternative hands and although it does work in some poses, technically you're meant to use the webs that go through the hands and since they didn't include those webs, you're going to have to use some of the previous Spider-Man SH figure arts or the latest upgraded suit version. As you can see on the back, this type of web goes actually through the hand. We also get these two pieces of extra accessories, which is used for a display stand. And if you're familiar with past SH figure arts Spider-Man figures, we have seen this before. So what you do is get this piece of plastic and flick out the back piece of Spider-Man and then you place this plastic piece inside and then you can basically use a stand for Spider-Man which obviously is sold separately. The accessory can also be used to flick out the eye parts for the Spider-Man head sculpt and obviously there weren't any extra ones included in this figure but you can see in the instruction manual it says it's displaying with the Spider-Man black and gold suit so I assume there will be alternate eyes for that. So there are no alternate head sculpts included with this figure, although Bandai did show it in the promotion photos, so it is kind of disappointing they didn't give us any Peter Parker unmasked face. I do have the Avengers Endgame version here, which of course has the net included, so it wouldn't actually make sense to place it into this one. And even when I do remove the head sculpt, it only takes off the head and not the neck. So now let's test out the articulation and movement of this figure. If you're familiar with SA figure arts, they do have some of the best articulated figures out there. And especially for a character like Spider-Man who needs to be in many different types of poses, this of course is a great advantage. So let's first start off with the head sculpt. So it is pretty standard, it can move side to side. And also has a full 360 spin if you want. And then it can also tilt side to side. And then downwards quite a lot and upward is quite a lot as well. There is movement on the neck as well. And then for the arms, they can stretch side to side no problem, which is pretty standard. And then forwards, upwards, and backwards very smooth. I can also move outwards and inwards quite a lot, something that we don't always see for figures. And then there's also obviously full 360 rotation. There is a swivel on the elbows especially the lower half of the hand and then we have rotation on the arm guard and there should be a hinge on the hand as well as well as rotation as well and then for the upper body it can turn side to side quite a lot 360 if you want and it can also move side to side slightly not too much maybe because his body is a bit small and then it can crunch forwards this much and backwards a little bit and then for the waist, it doesn't actually turn too much for the waist, which is kind of surprising. There's just slight swivel to it, but you can obviously crunch forwards. It doesn't create much of a gap, and it can go upwards a little bit as well. And then for the legs, you can see it is kind of separated into different sections, but it can kick forwards and backwards and also rotate. And I'm not very good at this articulation, but if you take your time, you can definitely get this in many different poses. And then for the knees, they bend backwards this much. And then for the legs, obviously there's rotation, swivel, and then there's a movement for the toes, and then side to side as well. So articulation wise, it's quite good. There's also a swivel on the whole leg as well. And everything about the articulation is kind of standard for your Spider-Man figures. Uh, the only thing is I noticed on the latest Black Widow snowsuit version, the back was a soft piece, which allowed the legs to bend really far back. But I guess they haven't done this for the Spider-Man figure. But nevertheless, it's still pretty decent for its movement. 
And in case you're wondering, you can actually remove the two handguards for a more original look of the integrated suit. So now for my overall thoughts on the Spider-Man integrated suit from the No Way Home line. It's another great addition to my MCU display because Spider-Man is always going to be an outstanding look. I really like the design of the suit, the matte finish. After watching the movie, you do appreciate it a lot more. You could argue it's quite similar to the design of the Iron Spider suit. And if anything, it has less accessories. So if you're someone that likes to pick up one character of a figure, this might not be the best option out there. But we must take into account this is a $30 figure, which is extremely affordable for SH figure arts. You do get all the standard hands, the webs. The only thing is they included a lot of options that can't really be enjoyed for this figure alone. Like if you remove the back piece, you can have it for a display stand, but you must buy the display stand separately. You can also change out the eyes as none of them were included, so you have to use something from a different figure. And also the alternate hands to hold onto the webs, again you have to use a different figure for that. And in the promo photos they included a Peter Parker head sculpt, which would have been a great addition, but of course they didn't add this in the final products. So all in all, this is a good figure and I would give this a 7.5 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned to my channel as I'll also be reviewing the upgraded suit from the No Way Home line and by next year I'll look to pick up the black and gold suit and I will do a full comparison between all the SH Figure Art Spider-Mans in my collection. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.